everyone um so for today's tutorial we are going to do dark short fur so this is just a three by three centimeter little square um so it won't take too long just the basics of how i layer for fur um and my full detailed supply list can be found and uh, found in my previous video i'll just link it above but just a quick little this is the Faber Castell 9000 graphite pencils and then the Creator Color Fun Art graphite pencils um, I use. And then you can also have a soft bristle brush handy, um, paper stumps and obviously some graphite powder. I showed you in the previous video how I laid um, with powder as well. So that's just what we do using uh, for today's tutorial um, so i'm going to start out with my uh, graphite powder on a soft brittle brush and this is just an old makeup brush that i've repurposed because it's got nice like i said soft bristles so i'm just going to fill the entire square up with graphite powder on the brush going to tap off most of the excess obviously you can get as messy as you'd like so I'm just going to take now powder on a stump tap off all the excess and we're just going to kind of start layering in Kind of more this darker edge. Taking my brush. Just going over it again. Okay, also something I didn't mention that I use is the Tombow Mono Eraser. So this little guy. And I'm going to take this now, kind of um, map out my little hairs and their directions. So the hair flows upwards, mostly outwards that way, but up here we can also add a little bit of direction. So just is just soft little strokes, not too much in terms of actually putting in last little details this is more just our base kind of foundation guideline I'm now going to go in with a two edge pencil and we kind of start layering it up, um, adding more definition into our layers. I'm varying between like strokes up and down and then also shading um, I preserve the shading more towards uh, the more darker edges So 
So I normally start out with the TH um, in majority of my foundation layers. Um, I find it's quite a good start. I don't know, I've taken a good liking to it. Um, it's a little bit deeper than the actual graphite powder that you will put down. So it's um, always a step up. You kind of want to always just add little step ups to your values doesn't have to be your drastic step up luck like you don't have to start out with your immediate b range pencils you can gradually move up towards those ranges so the 2H is a good foundation. I'll sometimes do the 2H, you can even go H or F pencil. F pencil gets up there a bit closer to the B range. So not necessarily for foundation layers. Just going to take my blending stump, not adding any extra graphite powder. Just taking my mono eraser again. I'm just not actually taking away a lot, ever so slightly, just layering up. Now I'm going to take my B pencil and always start from my darkest to my lightest so I'm going to make this little corner our kind of our foundation our working off of point our darkest little part in the range and from there kind of have it radiate out so I'm using a softer pressure I'm not really using the point so the more you use your pencil the flatter the kind of point gets so I'll use a, the, the flat side majority of the time for these initial layers um, I'm not too bothered by actually creating the finer details just yet just want to get in a soft soft start basically Just gonna take blending stump. This has no added powder on it. You'll see all my stumps that I use is um, dirty, varying from kind of dirty to um, extremely dirty. I think the dirtiest one I have is completely black. Um, so I don't necessarily have to add a lot of powder to blend out. Uh, they kind of do the job already for me. Um, I prefer the dirtier ones. Just this B pencil again. And always when I start making strokes with my pencil, I always start from the deeper side so that when you do put the pencil down you won't see the marks as readily if you make it like here i'll just go back swoop it back stroke it back so that there's no kind of beginning point to the mark you've made so that just also adds an extra layer of little blend into the area
just taking up Lenin stamp again and blending all of that out. Now I'm just going to take my mono eraser. So for my mono eraser in these little kind of parts of detail work, I keep it always clean um, in between me taking away um, pencil. Um, just so that I get a nice fine um, removal of the pencil. And obviously the more pencil you add to your paper, um, the quicker it will become dirty it won't stay clean for very long and then you'll struggle to get crisper lines so I'm going to move up now take a quite a big jump to my 4B pencil And with these B pencil, you get like an added texture if there's not much pencil already on the paper. And that just adds extra interest, basically. You can blend it out either with a stump, but I normally like to blend out that grainy texture out with um, another pencil, an H range pencil typically. And I'll most likely do that after this so I'm just going to take a 2 edge and blend out that it won't blend it out completely, but it will kind of also just darken up what you've put down. Because it full ends the gap between. So what I'm kind of looking in these base layers is those underneath I'll kind of strands that give it the fur like texture and appearance um, so that they have something to sit on top of um, when you add them so that the, yeah it gives a depth to the fur you give a fullness and a thickness to the fur um, it just makes it easier then so that it doesn't look as odd When you erase later on or add in little details that it looks strange or there's nothing underneath it. Just taking a blending stump. And you'll see the depth will be lost with these little blending out with the powders. But there will still be some of the highlighted areas still left. This is just my money eraser. Cleaned it up again. I'm just starting to further add some little. strands 
you'll see it will kind of take away in these areas down here but not a lot it won't be as um, noticeable as on top of the lighter layers but you still want to kind of connect it to those darker parts I'm going to go back in with my 4B pencil. And we're going to kind of start adding our depth. And then here and there, just um, darker strokes of with the 4B. So this is not the deepest or the darkest I'll go just yet, especially for these darker furs. Um, you can quite add a lot of depth to it in certain areas because obviously you want to be able to be discernible between your lighter browns and obviously your lighter browns you want to be able to discern between your whites, your creams. In a graphite pencil that can be quite difficult because we don't have any color to kind of help the viewer with um, what it is so we have only values to work off of this is just my 2h pencil And I'm just blending all of that out. So these foundation layers always help me with direction of fur, the contours they lay on. Um, obviously, if you're working on any kind of form, um, there will be bone structure underneath, muscle structure. So these... Um, initial layers just help me actually form the area that'll be that the fur will be sitting on um, I tr always try to get that in before I even I'll add here and there the fur texture from kind of like the beginning areas from the start but um, it majority of it comes just from those last layers, those last little pencil strokes, um, because you obviously want to give form for the firm to sit on first before you add the texture. You can add it gradually and build it up with your layers, which I do, um, but it just takes a little bit more time. So I'm just taking my mono eraser again now. Kind of add a little bit more than we have. Um, with our other layers.
so just taking out short little sections even in some of the dark areas and just kind of also layering up everything I'm going to take an F pencil now just going to go around all of these highlights that I've made split some of them in half add a little bit of texture around them with some more fur strokes Using the more the point, a little bit more pressure. So now I'm just going to take a seven B. Not going to really shade with it more just add lines of texture and for this a lot softer pressure than you would have used with your F pencil because it's not as forgiving and it's more just there to build in between your fur. And also just establishes also the direction that everything is going. Kind of creates more depth so I don't add it all over just in certain little spots and that just also creates interest and a little bit more dimension into your work just going to take F pencil kind of just build up on where, what we've put down with that 7B and you will see it will blend out the 7B marks and give it a bit of a darker feel. Adding a lot more pressure to this. Taking my powder brush, just blending all of that in. My 7B pencil, just go in again, very soft pressure, don't necessarily even have to use the point of the, the pencil. Kind of using it to break up certain little areas. Just taking my mono razor again. And now I'll have to use a little bit more work just to take out some strands. Just to add back a little bit of life and highlight. Just 
just taking my F pencil to kind of calm it down as well. Kind of bring it back. Using a lot shorter kind of strokes with my eraser and cleaning it up a lot, a lot more than I would have needed to for my initial layers. This is just my um, 4B pencil. Short little strokes. Just adding some things back into the darker areas as well. It's my F pencil. Adding some texture. So I'm going to take a putty eraser now and we're just going to kind of ever so slightly lift a bit of pencil. And you will see there are already texture strokes um, and marks of um, kind of pressure we've put down and not all layers kind of being taken away. This is just to bring back in kind of more of a highlight to the contour of the face. And I'm going to take my F pencil and we're just going to add even more little texture lines to what we've just, area we've just removed kind of. So if you've built up your layers correctly, there will still be kind of texture to what you've just removed um, because you've put down the layers and you've put down the strokes and some of those harder strokes that we've put down um, will kind of leave their marks. This is just my 7B pencil, soft pressure. Just add back a little bit of depth to what we've just removed. And I think that little crucial little step brought life back to our little square. Um, of fur and also just gave it kind of a little thing to work off of and um, it's never you can faff around even with this little square I can probably faff around for quite some time so I'm just going to take my rays again very lightly just establish back and add in some Highlights just in this little middle region here. Back in with my seven B.
for fur um when i use references i merely just use them as a guide for my initial layers because those are the more crucial ones and the rest i can kind of make do without because if i put down the work for my bottom layers then i kind of don't need a lot of they'll be my guidelines for the rest of the drawing anyways so then i have no direction of my fur i know um, the contours of the body and the bone structure underneath with the muscles as well so I'm just going to take 2H, soft little pressure, it won't look like much but it will add just a tiny little bit of something. Just kind of taking my blending stump, kind of grounding some of my little strokes, blending them in. I'm going to take my putty eraser again now and just kind of just little marks. Not really, a lot of pressure, just my F pencil just flicking out, short little flicks. And I think that for this little square will work. It's just the basic gist of um, how I do this. Uh, not too complicated, not too intricate. Obviously for more in-depth fur tutorials, um, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. Um, for more, more little snippets like these um, into my techniques and everything, you can more than welcome to subscribe like the video share um i kind of want to work on them maybe monthly to bi-weekly basis um, to add up these little small little things obviously there's a lot of different types of fur lengths of fur colors of fur um other little textures like leathers metals collars blankets the whole shebang so these little short little um, techniques I will be uploading to my YouTube but obviously the larger longer tutorials will be up over on my Patreon um, there are different tiers and it's well described out focus in depth and there's also advice tiers um, so you can head over and check that out so I hope you enjoyed this learned something new even if it's just a small little um, technique um, but yeah, comment down below if you want to see what you want to see for the future. And um, yeah, happy creating.